<laughs> You've rattled them. Yeah, yeah, I'm not using the latest version. I'm using a, not that old in a version, actually. I think it only stopped working on XP in like the last couple of versions over the last couple of years. Um, it's still the same root version, but it's like an older uh, subversion. And it just seems to work fine. You know. Right, how, how's all the levels? Game seems a little quiet, but I can fix that later. Yeah, that's too quiet. I'll up that a little bit. Oh god, which one is it? Is it Lining Source or Capture Card? I'll do it on OBS. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Hey, Elliot! How's it going, friend? <laughs> yeah, there's a time machine. That's the one. There we go. Is that alright, levels-wise? Just with, like, cutscenes and stuff, they're a bit louder than the game. Alright, I can turn it down a smidgen if it's a bit loud. There's surprisingly few Polish games full stop. Yeah, um, I think. Um, what's it called? Odium or uh, Gorky17 is a Polish game as well. Anyway, skip your skip. Oh, that's so much smoother. Man. Ah, ah, I'm already getting shot. Also, it's the wrong save game. That's the right one. So yeah, so I'm right at the end of the level. Um, and look at this weirdness, okay. This is something I discovered when like trying to backtrack the secrets. So there's just a solid wall here, yeah? And I was like, but how did I get up here? So let me just let me just backtrack a bit. If we go back into here. Activate this two block lift. <laughs> Come out into here. Come around here. All right, so here we go. Look at this nice like entrance, right? This is clearly just, you know, a corridor. And then it's like, and the solid wall just appears, and you can't go through it. <laughs> it's like stops you from backtracking. It's really weird. Like, why is this a one-way wall? <laughs> it's not a secret or anything. It's just the way you're supposed to go to get to the end of the level. <laughs> what the hell? It's so bizarre. And it makes me wonder what else I've missed because of weird one-way walls. This uses their own proprietary engine. Um, I have no idea what it's called. Wikipedia might be able to tell you. Um, the game's called Mortier 2093 to 1944. So yeah, it's all, all coded. Their own coded, uh... Oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> I'm dead. Right, I'm definitely using the wrong weapon. Uh, nope. Okay, that works a little better. Need a golden key. So I'm back in this bloody church that I started in.
Oh god, my pop filter stinks. <laughs> the rebirth is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. So it's using like... It's trying to use EAX or something like it. Oh, and you pick up medkits even when you don't need them. And uh, what the fuck is going on with these stairs? <laughs> it's so bizarre. Uh, that's a good question. I believe it's an Audigy 2. Oh yeah, what's stupid is that the flashlight is an item you have to use and once it's gone, it's gone. Like, how weird is that? Also, this gun is burst fire for some reason. Okay, I got the gold key. Uh, so I just want to jump back down there, I guess. And lose a bunch of health, that's fine. Okay, so we're back down here. Ah, but this door is open now? Which is interesting. And that's concrete instead of being a puddle? Okay, cool. So there's a bit of reusing levels. Oh, and it's eaten up my flashlight. I didn't want to pick up that medkit. I just I can see through the wall there. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, there's another flashlight, cool. At least they give them you quite often. New. Sorry, let me catch up with the, uh, with the chat. The flashlight is jank, yes. Uh, is this the game you tried on your 9x machine and it ran like 8? <laughs> yes, it is, yeah. <laughs> Just a spherical dynamic light thrown out from the center of your screen. Yeah, exactly right. It's gigantic, yeah. I <laughs> even holding it, yeah. <laughs> no need for reloads, exactly. It makes, like, no sense. Uh, let's see, what guns have I got? Oh, there's the boot. Look at this boot! It's like... <laughs> what is that noise? And you, you can see through your own foot when you're doing it at certain angles. Luger. Rifle. MP40, grenades. That's all I've got at the moment. Only got 30 rounds of that left. Probably save them. Oh, that's a bit more. Okay. And some armor. That sounds like a door being closed. And med kit. Okay. <laughs> A bargain bin rick hook. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not quite sure the year it came out. Um, you know what? Let's let's do a Google in. Why not, eh? It's all part of the fun. <laughs> also, hey, trans. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of missed your message when you, when I was pre-starting. I was trying to fix the problem with upload that, was, that I was having. But it's kind of fixed now, so. Uh, all right. Go away, Firefox. Oh, no, not completely. <laughs> Hello. Oh, really? Um, Hello. More tier. I can't believe they made a sequel to this as well. Um, and, like, their publisher went all in on physical units. And they got, like, a sh they put so much money into physical units because they thought they were going to sell big. And then no retailers in America would take them because they just were like, weird jank Polish game, no one's going to buy this, we're not going to invest. Uh, and I mean, like, maybe they were right in that decision, but also maybe if it had sold well in America, it might have gotten like an add-on and patches and improved experience, but 
Who knows? Um, 1999, August 1999 is when it released in Europe. Okay, see you soon. Hello, by the way. <laughs> Uh, so 1999 for this, um, and let's have a look at Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Wait, there's a Return to Castle Wolfenstein 2? What? I know, right? They could have. <laughs> yeah, so this came out two years before Wolfenstein, Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I'm intrigued now. What's... uh? What's Return to Castle Wolfenstein 2? Oh, it's Wolfenstein 2009. It's not called Return to Castle Wolfenstein 2. Okay. That's another great game. <laughs> uh... Okay, gold key. Oh, it looks like... Oh, I got extra armor upgrade? That's cool. Oh, my, my cursor's gone. Using the flashlight has made my aiming reticle go away. And I can't remember how the zoom works. Oh, it's tab. Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> Sample off? Sample on? What does that mean? Musa on? Musa off? What? Hmm. Weird. Back to patrolling, yeah. Um, I don't have a crosshair anymore. This level's just removed my crosshair. What's going on? Is there a dot? No. Well, ah, 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 this game does this thing where it teleports people in behind you as well. Oh my god, the zoom. Stop zooming, please. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what else is a jank FPS? Because I don't know, I think this might be up there with the jankest. Oh, it's removed my crosshair when I loaded the save. Oh well. Oh. Requiem Avenging Angel. Oh, I've heard of that. I think I saw a Civi video on that. <laughs> Let me just read this real quick. Um, let's use the time machine for evil purposes. That's a fun elevator. What the hell?
Project Kronos for quite some time, however, we have never really discussed our ultimate goal. Hands of using the time machine, we must be oh, no, judgment, blah blah blah. Oh. I didn't need to pick up any of that help. Oh yeah. <laughs> now this is uh so yeah, here's the zoom. So yeah, it looks like it squashes your gun. Like Also the zoom is so slow, so you can't use it on the mouse because it freaks out. Because it thinks it, it's got like auto repeat on the button. Um but you can press tab to zoom. But you press tab to stop, so if you double tap it, you can zoom in a little bit. You can zoom in all the way, it's like... Uh, uh, and it's got like a, an easy ease on it as well, so it like speeds up in the middle. It's really weird. Also, where's my crosshair? Game. One out of ten, bell does not ding when you shot. Sorry, let me just read this. Get for five bucks at some random sword and you need to sell games, right? Yeah, we have a place in the UK called The Works. Um, and you used to be able to buy all sorts of random shit there. And like, in like the early noughties, mid noughties, they started being like, oh, look, we've got all this like shovelware CDs that no one wants to buy. We'll sell them for a pound. And they just had these huge racks of them. So I got some pretty great things from The Works. I got this uh, Ultimate Doom Deathmatch CD that's um, got a bunch of <laughs> shit scraped off BBSs on it. Uh, for Doom, Doom 2, and Doom by Flesh Consumed, over 7,000 new levels. 6,998 of them are wank. I got this uh, 3DFX Dreams Volume 2, which is just another shovelware disc full of weird. Voodoo 1 and Voodoo 2 utilities with a couple of Voodoo um, Russian Voodoo 3 things. <laughs> I got these three as well. They're, they're, somebody got the rights. Some, some company called Empire Game Series got the rights to these. So I got Operation Carnage. Oh, wait, I'll admit it. I'm, I'm totally on the wrong view. Um, camera full. Hello. Um, there you go. That's a horrible noise gone as well. So you've got Operation Carnage, which is kind of like a um, Friday night a combat clone. That's pretty good, actually. It works in DOS. Uh, Iron Blood, <laughs> which is like a weird Asian platformer where you play as one of two robots that both play completely differently. Uh, another one called Thunder Gun, which is really weird because it's got now to do with guns. So I don't know why it's like laying itself up to be like a Quake game with like a gun in the middle of the screen. It's actually like a Descent clone, um, <laughs> which is really weird. And Rebel Runner, which is like a sort of Streets of Rage, but it's all sci-fi-y. 
It's uh, and it's really crap. <laughs> so all of them were a quid. <laughs> you have to say it in all caps. Thunder gun. Oh, here we go. Here's some more. Game Gallery, Volume 1. This is just a shitload of, like, freeware games for Windows 3.1. This is actually pretty good. There's some great games on there, like Combat Tank and, um, and, um, Mac Blaster. Some classics on there. <laughs> and, uh, and this one, Total Destruction, which is just a bunch of mods and levels for Command & Conquer Red Alert. And a, and a net level editor, which was pretty dope back in the day. And yeah, that's the kind of crap you can buy from the works. I don't know if you can still get crap CDs. Because they probably haven't sold CDs in like 10 years. But we'll have to check out check some of them out one day. Yeah, you can walk in this it's really slow. Also, these torches, the fires are totally in the wrong places. All the torches have been put in the wrong places, I'm not sure. And that missing texture in the centre there. Mmm, lovely. <laughs> ah. And I'm dead because I wasn't paying attention. Um, I wonder how much money companies made from just stealing shit from BBSs and the early internet printing it onto this. Well, that's the thing. It was free to distribute, and they were like, "Oh, well, we're not sell we're not selling the software. We're selling um, our our time and the CD. So the CD has a physical cost, and uh, us putting these things on a disc and burning them, and then putting them out to retail." costs us money so we're just covering those costs and making profit on what we've on what we've put into this that was the, the justification for shovelware risks sniper path of vengeance i'm gonna have to check this out real quick also this is a random cat going Wow! like what why 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 do you have a cat in your dungeon nazis what's your obsession with dungeon cats um snipe is this like one of the earlier Sniper Elite games. Oh well, somebody likes it if it's got a PC gaming wiki page. Um. Wait, from 2002? Oh, look at that loading screen. Did this game come out on the PlayStation as well? <laughs> well, it got aftermarket support. Got patches. Hmm. And it seems to just kind of run. But no widescreen. Mmm. <laughs> A very closed engine. Oh yeah, this is Windows 10, <laughs> but the uh, the XP machine does make it on the internet. I have uh, I have like a semi recent version of uh, Firefox and um, updated all the certificates that I could. Mm. So it kind of works. Mm. Well, yeah, I'm getting similar vibes. Kind of looks like um, Soldier of Fortune 1, to be honest. Oh, that inventory system. What the fuck is that? <laughs> they were like, so have you heard of a game called Deus Ex? We want to do that. But we also want to make everything unnecessarily large. <laughs> and have a third of the inventory space. And use some great big bitmaps for our edging. 
<laughs> it's a heavy. Uh, that UI was built to last. <laughs> heavy duty. Uh. Well, Kinney, uh, Koss, I'm going to have to uh, stick that on the list of jank to try out at some point. But at some point, I have a feeling the stream's going to evolve from a retro stream to a jank. <laughs> a jank only stream. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So many of them. At some point soon. <laughs> uh <laughs> So, where the hell do they spawn from? Oh well, they're all dead now. Oh my god, there's so many! It's almost like I'm not supposed to be here. Oh my god. Could work on the coloured lighting, boys. They're like, look, look, we can do coloured lighting. Also, something I've noticed is that the uh, crosshair is off on this gun, on, on all the guns. It actually shoots slightly to the right. It's like they never quite lined it up right. We got the key. That's progress. Is that lava? What the hell? Why is there lava down there? Ah! Fuck! Oh, I couldn't see him. Oh, it uses the same ammo as the pistol? Well, that's just sneaky, isn't it? Dave. Gore Ultimate Soldier. Uh, Marty's YouTube channel has a bunch of videos of jank obscure games. Oh, I'm going to have to check that out as well. Oh, wait. I missed, uh, I missed what Danny said. Uh, do you ever hear of or play Gore? You have a few PC gamer magazines to talk about it. Can you kill the cat? If I find the cat, I'll sort it out. Uh, the cat is annoying. They're Polish. Maybe they really, really like echoey basement cats. Maybe that's just how they keep their cats in Poland. They got it off Kazaar back in the 2004 and loved it. Probably doesn't hold up. Well, that's the thing, right? When you go into something with zero expectations and it's free, you end up enjoying yourself. Like, there's a lot of games that I really enjoyed that I hear that people think are absolute hogwash now. And I realize that it's probably because being, you know, a freeloading, penniless teenager with an internet connection, um, I uh, didn't have to, you know, pay full retail. <laughs> All the things. It was a different time back then. Support developers you like, kids.
So they were just down here funsies? Ow! Like big red epilepsy rate. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, you know what? I need to give that game another chance. I have a feeling it was running at an incorrect speed. Um, so it's not entirely your fault. <laughs> right, I am going to be safe scumming my way through this game since it's so dank and unfair. Also, this lift is so unnecessary when there's like, why is it stairs halfway up and lift the rest of the way? Like, oh shit. That was a full HP. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Meows quietly in the distance. <laughs> Oh, you just have to keep spamming the uh, the videos tab, and eventually it stops showing you the uh, it stops showing you the page, the the, the live page. Oh, is that the end of that? Wait, the time of day just changed. What the fuck is this? Does it sound a bit loud? Some loud rain? Yeah, I'm, I'll fix that. Uh, I think I can do it from here. Is that better? <laughs> Not quite as uh, obnoxious. Oh, the whole game sounds like muted now compared to the rain. <laughs> it's a bit where the developers are like, and we want them to think that the rain is really heavy, so we'll make it really loud. Ah, so many of them. The shit. Yes, two years before. Oh, I keep hitting F5. F5 is change crosshair. Of course it is. Also, this crosshair is so broken. throw a grenade at his buddy. It like shoots off to the right of it. It's so jank. Hey, you got him.
Oh no! That was pretty good. Oh, there's like, um... There's like a only show the most popular in the last 30 days or some nonsense. You have to like go view all time or view like last year or some bollocks. Oh man, if I was a, a rubbish developed, rubbish level designer, would I hide a secret in the top of this mausoleum. Yes, I would. And I would make an incredibly difficult jumping puzzle because this engine is so rubbish. Oh! Oh! Okay, there's nothing up there. <laughs> See all, yeah. That would that'll do it. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, what the fuck? It's just like, gotcha, bitch! <laughs> A quantum receptor piece. What? Why is there so many of them? Maybe they're just popular in Poland. You know, maybe like they get all their friends and family to buy coffee. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna wear two helmets. That's crypt. What is that? The magic box I can't interact with, I think. Shit. I knew they were going to spawn people behind me! <laughs> oh yeah. You mean like, like, fingers in all the pies, or like, uh... Like, interfering kind of involved, or like, try to save it involved, or like, financially involved? Oh, the doorbell just went. Uh, let me just go see if I need to answer that.
I'm back. It was post. Ah, <laughs> come back, doorbell. <laughs> Everyone gather round. Not you, doorbell. <laughs> Hello. So, do you, what, so what do we reckon the uh, conspiracy is? Do we reckon that Interplay just saw it as an easy way to make money, didn't invest too much, and slapped a bunch of people on it so that they could, like, I don't know, minimize costs, maybe? <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give us a setting and we'll frame our minds in, in the moment. Um... <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Also, my um, cotton wax wax dressing has arrived. So uh, I got really fucked off with all raincoats being absolutely wank. So <laughs> now this is a little weird. I bought a nine <laughs> 1950s Soviet era Hungarian. <laughs> Shelter half, um, which is basically a giant square of canvas with lots of toggles and holes in it um, that you could wear as a raincoat, and uh, it's fantastic, <laughs> and it makes me look like a Russian sniper. <laughs> but it's also like wearing a tent, so uh, yeah, I hope that I I'm going on holiday next week. Oh yeah, so spoilers, no stream next week because I will be in in the in the lakes, in the wilderness. <laughs> ooh, ooh, clip. Um, so what's the backstory? It's not that kind of wax, Danny. Oh, the screaming. Ooh, ah. Reminded me of this moment. All right, let's have a look. That's not the right. I guess it is. It's just gone to sleep. Um. I'm sure I had a shortcut for Twitch chat. Uh, Twitch follower list. Oh, that's right. Da, da, da. I think it's this one. Yeah, here we go. Oh, fucking, fucking lava. Why is there no sound? Oh, you can't see. It's no sound because this. I'm pressing Sorry. the button twice. I'm doing a double jump. Like, it should give me the full height. Why do I have to hold it? Sorry. <laughs> is this the whole. Is this the successful run or the, or the multiple not, deaths? Like, why is that not good enough? I'm pressing the button twice. I'm doing a double jump. Like, it should give me the full height. Why do I have to hold it down and time it? <laughs> I'm so fucked off. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, no, I fucked that one. Doesn't matter if I make it now. Amount of time. <laughs> oh, that game. Yeah, it's just the cool or rising lava level over and over again. Why are you wearing a tent? <laughs> Is the successful run in here? Why? <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, no, uh, Huck. Uh... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's what I look like now when I go out for a walk in the rain. <laughs> there you go, that's basically it. Because I was like, fuck raincoats. They all suck. <laughs> this is just a cool <laughs> rising lava level. Oh, uh... Palatka. It's hung the Hungarian one. A palash palatka, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got Hungarian, not uh, Romanian. Well, maybe I did get Romanian. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, no. It was totally from .ro, which would be Romania. Yeah. Hey, Greg, as well. Word ups. Oh, what's that one? Oh, is this it? Is this the run? Oh yeah, I just like, I just, I had to fuck off the headphones. Like the sounds of the game actually made it harder. Like it was messing up my timings. I thought that was over there. <laughs> okay, headphones. <laughs> Getting rid of all the sound helps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was mad. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Craig, what do you think of my uh, my Walker and Hawks cotton wax for canvas? I'm going to treat my uh, my shelter half. <laughs> so while all the other people in their fancy, I don't know, those stupid. Canada Goose logo coats walking around getting all soggy in the lakes. I'm just going to be like, I am impervious to rain. Because that's how it works, right? You like your uh, your wilderness stuff, don't you, Craig? You're always out there, like, fishing and barbecuing and taking nice pictures of sunsets over lakes. Well, I was like, it's an, it's like, it's old. It's like, it's already, oh my god, how old is it? <laughs> Holy shit. It's twice my age. Yeah, so my coat is twice as old as I am, so I thought I'd give it some, like, some TLC. It's got, it's like, it's clearly, um, what do you call it? Surplus. So, like, all the toggles are, like, mismatched plastic ones, and I'm going to put some nice wooden ones on it, and it's just got some really shitty rope. Put through the uh, the cord holes, and I'm going to get replace them with some nice paracord. Yeah, it's going to be well good. It's going to be a coat that lasts forever. That's how I feel. <laughs> I do like a bit of outdoors. Hmm. Right, what were we doing? We were playing jank video games. That's right. And I can't get back to them. Why not? Oh, there we go. That's fine. Oh, shit. Where are you, son of a bitch? Oh, there you are. I'm dead. <laughs> Also, this jump, you like the camera goes like up and down, and then it points you at the floor. And the more you jump, the more the further down you look. <laughs> what a daft game! Also, one of the items I have is papers. Does that just mean that people aren't going to shoot at me if I get the papers out? That's a bit weird. Oh my god.
I'm using the wrong mouse again. Oh my god. I'm fine with that, that's a result. Also, is it raining inside? Yes, it is. You need the gold key, okay. Okay, so we're back over here now? Okay. I mean, it's kind of nice how non-linear the maps are, but... They're a bit confusing. Let me catch up with the chat again. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know constantly. Uh, this game looks like N64 Wolf inside. That's a pretty accurate description of it, to be honest. <laughs> This is a good example. I think it's because it's not proper, properly implemented EAX. It's called um, Direct Sound with Creative EAX Support, is what they label it as in the menu. <laughs> Can confirm that's not how real life is supposed to sound. <laughs> Right, I killed all these donkeys, didn't I? Yeah, we went pew pew around this churchyard. Um, and we went down in there and it was like, you need a key, stupid. And we couldn't pick up that. But we can pick up that. them go they were like oh my god we're being shot at run backwards and forwards so make it harder than to hit us <laughs> uh. both at the same time <laughs> yeah yeah let's go find some he, like, fell forward on his gun. He's, like, sprawled. He's, his head became a tree. Oh, it seems I have the two poses. Sprawled and planking. That's a planker. That's another planker. 10 out of 10. question is, can I break the uh, level by jumping on that lamp? That's what I want to know. No, no, I can't. <laughs> Damn there being two of some kind of thing. <laughs> and appearing like more. Oh shit, I missed. Nah, no, maybe I didn't miss. Ah! Where did he go?
just bailed. Also, what is this house? It's just like leaf texture on the floor. What the fuck is that? Night vision goggles. Why is there night vision goggles in 1944? I like. I know they had infrared, but they, those apparatus were huge, like absolutely massive. And like the battery packs were huge as well. They're like a whole bloody rucksack. Ah. Shit. Grenaders. That's it. Haha, -ha, you have the worst throwing arm in the whole of the Wehrmacht. <laughs> imagine, imagine being a grenadier and not being able to hock a grenade over a foot high wall <laughs> two meters in front of you. Oh. Yeah, I know, it's really, it's like warps the whole field of vision. Yeah, yeah, they were absolutely ginormous. And they had like a battery pack you had to wear instead of regular equipment because it was so heavy. Like imagine carrying around a nickel cadmium battery made out of like bronze plates that's the size of a backpack. Absolutely ludicrous. Like I remember, ooh, armor. I remember um, batteries in torches when I was a kid. Like, the torches had actual light bulbs, like tiny little light bulbs, round glass with filaments in them, and you'd put in two brand new Duracells, like double Ds or whatever, and you'd turn it on, and you'd be like, wow, this is nice and bright, and like an hour later it would be dim as fuck, and it would be like basically done, and now you can get a torch with an, like, an array of LEDs that you plug into a USB hub for five minutes and turn on and it illuminates an entire mile, and you're like, wow. <laughs> How did people live back then? I'm old now, I'm saying folksy things. Back in my day, we didn't have LEDs. <sighs> when did we become old? <laughs> Don't like being old. Oh, there's the key. Okay. Um, I'm sure there was some extra health kicking around. Um, I guess it was down here. Oh yeah, there it is. Noise. Ah, black. <laughs> oh, loading. Wait, what the fuck? Are all these levels like out of sequence? Because they feel kind of out of sequence. Wait, can you bunny hop in this? No, <laughs> you can't. It does feel a little faster though. Oh yeah, jumping diagonally is faster, but it kind of locks you into the direction you're traveling. Oh, that's weird. Also, why does everything sound so ominous? Mm, ammo. Is there any ammo on the other side? Yes. Ooh, so I've got so much ammo. Can't pick up any more ammo. 
Oh my god, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Uh, oh. Oh my god. How am I going to get rid of these guys? Oh my god. No, that didn't really work. Apparently I'm that guy that can't throw over a one foot wall. Yeah. Oh my god, he did a roll! I hope that was enough bullets. Unnecessarily large impractical gun. Ah, uh, yes. Now, well, this is, looks like a serious Sam level. Pick up all those pills. Ah, it did appear. You can't do that. Ah, come get some. That is quite satisfying, actually. Like, this game is kind of crappy, but, like, the guns are at least, like, are all really powerful. Yeah, well, whatever that means. Back to you, buddy. Oh. Eighty-one invoices. That's a lot of invoices. That does sound like the MG42, to be honest. So, like, ten out of ten for realism there. <laughs> ah. It's Niles Darwin. How's it going? This is a uh, Mortier. Do I really not have any rifle ammo? No ammo for rifle. Oh my god. Oh, it uses the same. The rifle, it's this M762, isn't it? I just used up all my rifle ammo on <laughs> using the MG42. Now I'm stuck with this. MP40 from a distance. I'm screwed. Alright. Yeah, everyone's saying it's got kind of Unreal vibes. Um, it's it's actually its own engine. It's weird Polish jank. Um, and the only reason it's playing smoothly is because I've capped the frame rate at 40. Um, uh, because everything is reliant on the frame rate. And if it goes faster than 40, everything breaks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a weird, um, a weird game where you're a time traveling Nazi from the year n nearly 3000 from 2099, and you're like, hold on a minute, I'm not supposed to be a Nazi, I'm supposed to be a, a freedom loving European. Um, and so you go back in time using the evil Nazi time machine to kill all the Nazis. Uh, so no, so you see this, uh, you see the, uh, the, the reticule in the center of the screen there, by fire, you see there's, there's a bit of a difference there with, with where that will go. Also there's like natural climb and stuff, but that's only the camera view. So, yeah, you can see how far off the reticule aim it is. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> it would be nice if you could actually like ADS. I only have six health. No idea what any of those things are. Okay. Oh, much better than the 25 did. Like, I was playing this last week on 25 FPS locked because I was using, like, a replaced EXE that was supposed to fix it, and it didn't. It just locked it to 25. And it was, like, going... Eh, 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 and it was, like, impossible to play. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, I suppose it would make sense for the rifle to be zeroed at a certain distance. Oh shit, who's firing at me? Where the fuck did that come from? Something on the other side of the wall? I have no idea. That was bizarre. <laughs> they got shot by friendlies there. Nice, we're in a much better spot now. That's perfectly acceptable. Yeah, I, d I don't know. It makes no sense. Like, it, it, and the whole engine is reliant on that frame rate, and it's not capped in any way. So you just had to hope when this game came out that your computer was capable of playing it at 40 frames per second and not any faster. Because if it was any faster, the game's unplayable because the physics break and the game animations break and the whole thing's too fast. <laughs> Most games have a gun shooty animation off to the side of the screen while the... Yeah, yeah, it just comes out the middle of your face, right? Um, uh, what's a game that's really obvious where it does that? Um, it's like the Hyper Blaster in Quake 2 is really obvious that it does that, because it doesn't come out the end of the gun, and like, it just sort of appears in the center of your face. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, misfire. Oh, that was a good shot. It does kind of make you feel like... Like you're making some pretty cool trick shots when you actually manage to hit something. Because of the whole reticule being completely off. Ugh, oh, dead. Right. How do we do this? Also, what's the point of this? There's no stairs here, so I just guess I drop down and then get killed. Yep, just drop down and get killed, okay. That means... Good job these grenades are so bouncy.
Okay, that felt good. <laughs> nice of them for, to all come and stand underneath where the grenades are falling, wasn't it? This castle is huge. Yeah, that seems good. Right, so I've been down all of these now? Yeah, yeah, that's just a big loop. There's five of them. How were the others received? Why does it have five sequels? That's just insane. They just spawned behind me! <laughs> this game! Right, some health will be good at this point. Nice. Right, did I miss anything in this great big room? It's huge for no reason. Some ammo and health. Alright, and two doors that lead to the same place. There seems to be a lot of symmetrical design in this. Okay, why would this room be full of stuff? Okay, got to remember that. If I need ammo, come back this way. Because there's loads. That's a very flashy light. Oh, but I think it was... Oh, right, it's culling! Whoa, that's weird! How does it work out the culling? Bad. That was a bad time.
Like, did they spawn behind me? <laughs> they can't hit me because I'm crouching. <laughs> Learn to aim down, guys. How much is it, Operation Thunderstorm? Is it a lot? Is it a little? Yeah, well, ah! Oh, there was health through here as well, wasn't there? Excellent. Yes! What year did that come out? Like, is it the same tech it's built on, or did they just use a different engine? Like, someone else's engine? Oh, I couldn't see him. I guess he was right next to me. Yeah, I think someone was spawning behind me. There he is. Oh, is that the uh, the evolution of the you no know, one this forever engine? Lift tech engine. Died, didn't he? Also, I love that picking up letters uh, gives you health. You just go near them and you read them, and then you pick them up. And he's like, you must eat them. He's just like, mmm, paper. Um, 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 um. Screws it up, shoves it in his gob. Oh, that's just, that's just cruel. That's just dumb.
I, I just came from behind me, but... I think the excuse is that uh, there's like warping happening because of time changing or something? What the hell? I'm so confused. Wait, the multiplayer component is what? In what? In this? Vortier has multiplayer? No. Oh, in UA, in Ultimate... In, sorry, I'm... I'm following now. I read that as UE source. I thought you meant like Unreal Engine. Sorry, I'm, I'm following now. The multiplayer component in Urban Assault source is implemented. Yes, I'm following now. Hmm, that sounds fun. <laughs> so yeah, we definitely like came upstairs to like what the hell? These maps this map design is so weird. It's like you start the level looking at what you were looking at when the last level ended, but like everything changes around you? It's so weird. Hello. Flamethrower. I have a flamethrower now. I guess. What the fuck just shot at me? Oh, he did. Oh my god, it just goes pop 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 Okay. I just got sniped. Yeah, snipers. That's a new enemy. And I'm dead. Never gonna do that guy. Oh. oh man, I've been followed by so many bloody hotspots. I need to ban all of them. Oh. It's getting silly, like I only get like seven or eight people watching at any given time. And like why am I being targeted by shitty stupid bot wankers? Oh, uh, a little higher. Oh, 
a moving shot. Bullshit. <laughs> this game's bullshit. Right, I'm gonna use that. I don't know what that is. Let's save and find out. That's night vision. I don't need that. That's papers, I don't know what that does. Let's just, let's just use the papers and see what that does. Yeah, no one's gonna shoot at me because I've got papers. That's so weird. It's just like... It, He's just supposed to be walking around going, look at my papers! It's fine, I have papers! And they will shoot at you, even if you shoot at them. Okay, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was totally worth using those. Okay, that's the golden key door. Oh, there he is. No, he's dead. Isn't he? Oh, look, there he is. I mean, I guess to call that Elon. I like how there's friendly fire and they shoot each other. Like the simpleness of the level geometry kind of reminds me of like the very first Medal of Honor on PlayStation. You know, that and like, I mean that had wobbly, wobbly models, didn't it? <laughs> Something funny about games from from this era about AI just not being able to hit you in the crouch. Like, I'm sure Medal of Honor Allied Assault had a similar problem. Like, they could still hit you, but like, it's just a random black cube there. Just, uh, you can only see from certain places and that you can walk through. Amazing. So, is, is that like a default brush or something that they forgot to remove? Ominous black cube.
Yeah, right. It's gonna spawn some guys behind me, I bet, when I get to the end of this corridor. Yeah, look, look, look! I fucking figured it out now. Like, this game's too predictable. Okay. But, oh. Oh, that looks like the end of the level to me. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like, there's things in this that are nice. Like, the textures are nice. And, like, some of the models are kind of nice. And, like, the level geometry ideas are, like, cohesive. They feel like, you know, like places. But... <laughs> but AI and random glitches... Stuff lets it down a little bit. Yeah, the, uh, the moving movement's a little slippery sometimes. Oh, and the jumping's terrible. Oh, I actually slid down that. Okay. I want to be a tank. Let me put the tank hat on. Uh, uh. guy there. Uh-oh. The alarms are terrible in this, but you can just go... You just shoot them and they stop working. Oh no, he out-sniped me. I thought of making a mod for Urban Assault. There's kind of a New Game Plus style campaign where you go through the traditional campaign all over again and you have all the units and upgrades as you would at the end of the game, but you're in a special Anvil class host station with plenty of powerful guns and maximum armor. Tech upgrade sectors instead boost your units in the urban area, and new vehicle sectors instead just increase the projectiles and fires. Yeah. Sounds like it could be good. You know what, I'm just going to turn the red fuel off, because I think it's easier without it. They spawn some. My health's so low. Hmm. 
we might have uh, saved ourselves into a bit of a hole. Maybe I need to go back and find some health. Any secrets down here? Oh, yes. I just found secret health. Ooh. Oh, it's Einstein. Of course, that's why it's Albert. Right, okay. I didn't realize they were describing Albert Einstein, but it totally makes sense now. Wow, he just don't want to die, okay. Right. What the fuck? I had hand grenades before, why do I not have any now? Okay, <laughs> that was dumb. And I was just about to say, if they spawn, if they spawn any more random bastards, I'm going to be real pit. Oh, now my guns are all fucked. Oh. stuff. Take your gun. And your gun. And your gun. Basically an arms dealer at this point. I wonder how long this game is. Like, I'm not in the future yet, so... Yeah, I bet he does. How many polygons is his mustache?
good enough. If I'm alive, it's a win. <laughs> of course, this is a copy and paste of the other room, just with like different lighting. Oops. And a bit. Having trouble with aiming? Use more bullets. That's a lot of infrared. And probably a bit of a waste since you can only carry one of an item at a time? I guess? Yeah, that was those are infrared headsets, apparently. So, am I fighting a tank now? Oh, it crashed! Our first crash! <laughs> okay. Oh, how long have we been going for? About two hours. About two hours of mortar. Uh, should we do something else for a little bit? Since it crashed, it's like fate has decided for us. 